Hey guys, it's Crystal. I am doing a bloodthirsty zombie, and I've been shot in the head. Um, I just wanted to show you how to use your eyelash glue to make, you know, something that looks like this. You can even do uh, lots of different things with eyelash glue if you don't have Elmer's glue or if you don't have latex. So, if you want to see how I got this look... Keep on watching. Any moisturizer for your face will do. I like to use the Olay Quench Plus. I'm going to be using some sponges and I'm really just going to stipple this on. I'm going to be using the Laura Geller The Real Deal Concealer. This is perfect. It's in light, which is way too light for me. So I'll just be able to put it on and go from there. With this stuff, you don't need a lot at all. So literally, just going to stipple. And stippling is press and bounce, press and bounce. Don't lift up too much. Now I'm going to get my Hard Candy Concealer Palette. So what I'm going to do is put them over my eyebrows. And again, just get them slightly concealed out. So now what we're going to start doing before we even start on our blood, and again, what I did is I just took this lash grip and I drew a circle. And you have to be careful because when you squeeze it, it'll all just like shoot out at you. So I just gently drew a circle and I had it thicker on some parts because that's going to be texture from where the bullet went in like a stipple wound. So I'm going to now start working on contouring. I'm going to start off with that red and put it under my eyes and even just a little bit around my eyes just to give us that really menacing undead look. And just get it right under your eye and bring it down into where you would have a natural bag under your eye. You can even bring it up just onto your eyelid. So now I'm going to take a little bit of black or a really deep brown and mix it in with that. Any brown, any dark deep brown is going to do. kind of overlap it where you've done and then really get that brown in your socket. You can continue to use this red and mix it with a black or you can use a brown, whichever one you want. I'm going to use the same brush because it's small and I can just start small. I'm going to dip into a matte black from the 120 palette. And I want all of these lines to really come out. First, I'm going to scrunch, and you see all those wrinkles? You're just going to go over those. And create a bunch of wrinkles that way. Just kind of add that as part of... that menacing look. And then I'm going to make a face where I can see my contour lines, do the same thing, and just start contouring. I'm going to start with harsh lines so that I can blend them in. Okay, now we're going to work a little bit on our bullet hole. Take a red cream gloss and I'm going to mix it with a little bit of black and just start painting. And I want blood dripping down. Now I'm going to mix a couple colors to put actually on that rim of the bullet hole. I'm going to go back and take that same concealer. We want this to look just like our skin. And it's going to be really textured looking. You can see it already. And you can even raise it up a little. Like as you can see right here, I can push my brush underneath my bullet wound. And whenever there's a bullet wound, the area around it is always stippled. It's really kind of stipply looking and scary and burned. It's usually got like a black ridge to it. I'm going to take these tweezers and just start you know, lifting that skin. There we go. See that? Give your uh, bullet wound some depth. And of course, have it be red around it. And for that, I'm just going to use some shiny lip gloss. I 
and go ahead and go crazy with like the blood because you can dry your teeth off. This isn't going to stick forever. You should really get something that's meant for your teeth. But just for this look, I'm putting it on dry teeth. Finishing touches. We want black on our tight line. Let's give that scary. So here we have it, the zombie look. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.